Okay, I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of this node red flow and how it works. Um, as you can see, it's running right now, and this is where it's listening for Real Dash to talk to it. If Real Dash sends some data, it goes ahead. <clears throat> it goes ahead and uh, interprets it, and stores it and sends it out to MQTT if there is a MQTT topic for it to send data to. Um, this is a keep alive here. It's got to send data to keep Real Dash happy. And then down here, I've got some topics that uh, I've configured that I listen to. So these are a couple of lights here. These, the hardware for these is running WLED, which is an open source LED controller that talks to MQTT. Um, I have a coolant sensor on uh, a board that I've designed. It's in the breadboard stage right now. Um, that's available. The schematics and whatnot are available for that on GitHub. Uh, I've got an oil pressure sensor attached to that as well. And um, this is a, a relay that toggles between these, these two sensors being hooked to my analog gauges or um, being hooked to the digital gauges. And then down here, I'm monitoring an MQTT status. Uh, after 15 seconds, uh, MQTT will set the node to offline. Um, and I'll try and detect that and set these values to zero and um, toggle a value in Real Dash so that it knows that uh, that sensor is offline. Uh, over here, we're parsing JSON data strings into a buffer and we're sending them off to real dash over here um, so what drives all this this I wanted this to be really easy to configure and maintain um, real dash in itself is not that easy to work with because the data is in bit packed values um, so I designed a XML file extension I guess you could say um, this is the real dash default can XML file. So if you've looked at their stuff, you've done things maybe with Arduino, um, you're probably familiar with this file. What I discovered is that real dash is going to ignore values in here that it doesn't know about. So I can add keys in here for sub. So you can subscribe to an MQTT topic here. And so if you add a sub key to one of these sensors, like right here, this is the ID for oil pressure for that Real Dash uses. Um, sub, and then this is the MQTT path to the value that that sensor is broadcasting. And I am also telling it here with this key to multiply by 10. And then I'm telling real dash to divide by 10. And that's so that I can get a single decimal point value like 50.1 or you know something like that. Um, <clears throat> I have some bit coded values here that I can uh, monitor and subscribe to. So here's an example of um, the relay that I turn on and off. I'm publishing a one or a zero based on the value of this switch out to MQTT with this pub command here. And I'm subscribing to the current state of it here. So real dash will reflect whatever um, that relay state is. 
And then I've got a few other things in here I'm playing around with. I've got um, a control to control the LEDs on my couch. Um, so I've got that in here just for fun to play around with. And I've not implemented the text stuff down here yet. Uh, so this is the sample file. This whole thing you do, uh, you know, you, you control A, control C, copy the whole thing and you plop it into here, go into this space and do a control A, control V to paste it in there. That updates the, the XML file in here. So this program, this node red flow, when it kicks off, is going to interpret that XML file for you. And it's going to figure out where those bit packed values need to be read, read and written to. So that makes it easier to maintain, I think, because I don't I don't have to go write code every time to deal with minor changes in the file. If I want to add a gauge or sensor, I can just edit the XML file, add it, plop it in here, come down here and add the MQTT topic for your new sensor and feed it into this function node here. And that should do the work of receiving that data and sending it off to Real Dash. Um, this is the Real Dash example board here, or example um, dashboard. Um, I can toggle things here. I can, you know, do that. Um, that turned off some lights in the room here. Headlight on. Um, Warning. Oil pressure. So I'm getting my oil pressure warning because I dropped below five pounds here. Um, I do have it talking to me uh, with triggers. These are just a representation of the binary values in that XML file I was talking about. Um, One sensor offline. So if the the gauge drops off the Wi-Fi for 15 seconds, that's what that's supposed to do is uh, turn that on or off. Um, I forced the value there. Uh, this is representing the relay state. Um, so when I toggle that off, these dropped off here. And um, so we're getting some odd values right now because the resistors or the gauges just got disconnected. The, the senders just got disconnected from the the board by the relay when I did that. So Warning. I can turn that on. Coolant temperature. Right. Warning. Oil pressure. So uh, to do on this is to take this beyond just a bunch of ones and zeros and some, you know, simple digital gauges here. I need to design analog and digital gauges for this. Um, but uh, hopefully that's enough information to get you started there. I'll also do uh, some other video content on these um, the sensors. Um, I'm using ESP Home flashed onto an 82, ESP8266 uh, with to do the analog to digital conversion for me. They're just it's a great way to go. Uh, really cheap, affordable, easy to use. So uh, well, that's that's it for now. Uh, Thanks for watching.